Hello my soccer universe, finally to the next jersey review and this time we do the Champions League um, and this is the latest I've ever done it. Usually in a normal season I get uh, jersey reviews in by summer and then I can for the top five leagues and then I can do the Champions League jersey review right around the time when the first few weeks of the group stage are. Now the group stage is over. However, I try to use this opportunity to actually rank the teams now from last to first how they happened in the group stage so to kind of uh, get a little bit sporting merit in there as well. Um, I also realized that this at least this year I have for every group in the Champions League I have at least two jerseys so uh, that A makes me happy. Uh, good, good collection and B this allows me also to uh, give jerseys, uh, to pull jerseys uh, from all kinds of places and wear. So yeah, I will probably always tend to wear uh, jerseys of not the top teams, but the one below. I also want to try to focus on the jerseys that are non-top five leagues uh, because we have not talked about them. I will uh, also only talk about European jerseys unless the team is from a league where I will for sure not do a jersey review. I have decided I will do a jersey review for Austria. So uh, now that Salzburg is in this video, I will only talk about the European jerseys for the league jerseys. I really hope to do the Austrian jersey uh, review rather, rather, rather soon. So yes, I would say we'll get right to it. We have Group A of the 2021 Champions League, where the last place team was Lok Moscow. And I'm never sure what's the home, what's the away, and what whatever jersey is wearing. But I think the dark green one is the home jersey. And I have to admit, I became a little bit of a sucker for green with light red accents and then maybe a little bit white thrown in. And I don't know why, but there's something about it that I really, really like. And I have to say this uh, dark green, maybe a little bit too dark. Look at the uh, train engine um, on the crest. It's a little bit light, but on the other side, it, this makes it visible. Uh, there's not much wrong with this jersey. Uh, it's not the most exciting jersey either. I have to say I am getting used to Adidas outlining the collar, but only going up until here so that the front is a little bit wider. I don't know why they're doing it. I didn't like it at first, but as I said, I'm getting a little bit along with it. I also like that the same thing is mirrored on the um, sleeve cuffs. So I have to say it is a a nice looking jersey. It's not a super exciting jersey, but it's uh, it, it's a class jersey. jersey. Let's put it, put it that way. I think it's pretty much, I would give it seven stars. The away jersey uh, is switching the colors a little bit around and I honestly think if they would have a straight swap for red with green, the jersey would look have a little bit better. But now you see here the white outline becomes kind of stark and also the, uh, there's too much contrast drawn there. I think if the collar and the stripes, uh, at least the collar and the sleeve cuffs will be white. I would even go for the stripes, but uh, that's debatable. I think that would have done much better for the jer jersey. Still, it's not a bad jer jer jersey, but it's just this, what's thought of as an X and it's just popping right into your face. And I don't really like that. And for that reason, I'm gonna go uh, with this actually only for four stars because uh, they mess a little bit too much, uh, you know, what's an accent. It's just minor, but it's so popping that it's actually distracting from the rest. I think the pick of the bunch for me is, and I realize that white jerseys I tend to like uh, typically, especially if they sprinkle a little bit of clubs colors all. But this away jersey, this is almost pretty much the pick of the bunch. Would you agree with me? All the clubs colors are there. And you have the green and the red. Um, maybe they could have gone uh, the route uh, like uh, all the Morocco jerseys did, where they had um, a shoulder yoke in green and then uh, with a little bit red in there. I think that would, would have looked nice too. But I have to say, this is a really, really nice looking jersey. I really like, like this one. I put it slightly above the home, home jersey, but I don't necessarily think it deserves a higher grade. I will give this also seven stars. Let's move on to the Austrian champions, Salzburg, who finished third and will move on to the Europa League. They got a Nike template. 
Uh, and uh, don't get me started on the whole craziness for the different crests between league and between uh, Champions League. I find it rather annoying uh, in every possible way that you can look at it. Um, I have to say, the red jersey by itself is not bad. I even like the color. But why do we have the dark red um, sleeves? And then, and this is a common Nike template around, why do the sleeves on the back extend to kind of give a, um, a raglan look on the, on the back and a proper cut uh, sleeve look on the front? That does not make any sense to me. Then there's a shadow pattern in there that reminds me of a famous Austrian ski brand, uh, Atomic. That's all you know, try, uh, try, trying to intersect to hexagons and uh, intersecting all over, which gives it some interest. Uh, there's even some um, on the Red Bull sponsor itself. It is not the greatest jersey, to be honest. And I really don't get why Salzburg now decided that in Europe we go for this red look when at the, in the league at home they usually play white with red pants. I, I, I don't quite get that. No, uh, five stars. Five, five, five stars. And the away jersey is even worse. Because uh, where did they pull out these colors? Literally, where did they pull out these colors for uh, the away jersey? Uh, gray with orange, or you know, uh, maybe it's a beige, gray, whatever it is, with orange. It not only has nothing to do, and, and then the crest doesn't even fit, and the Red Bull has also slightly different. It does, and, and the swoosh, there's so many things that just don't fit. Uh, when they played in Moscow with this one, I thought, what did, what were they thinking? And that's what I'm saying here. This is an ugly, ugly jersey. This is one of the worst Red Bull jerseys in years. And they had those crazy ones uh, that they were wearing the 18 19 season. That's a two star. Uh, that's not much redeeming for there. And then we can move already to the second place team, which is Atletico Madrid. Um, I'm not going to spend a lot of time because uh, watch my La Liga jersey review uh, on Atletico. What I like, it's the classic Atletico look. Maybe the main blue is a little bit too dark. Maybe you should have darkened the crest to kind of tie this in together a little bit better. I like the brush stroke effect. It's very um, simple. I like it there. Maybe that the red stripes are a little bit wider than the um, uh, white ones. It's maybe the only po bone of contention. But I think all over it's a very solid Atletico jersey that I gave seven stars and will stick with it. I really like the away jerseys and the, I think that I'm wearing here the 13-14 away yeah, makes total, total sense because uh, both current uh, away jerseys for Atletico are in there. I really like, like this one with the dark blue and the red accents. Yeah, even the monochromatic crest does not really bother me. This is a really, really nice lo looking jersey. Uh, curiously, I think in the Champions League they had to wear it with white numbers on the back, whereas in the league they wear it with red no numbers, but UEFA said better legibility with white numbers and I would agree with that. This is a great looking jersey jer jer that I gave nine stars. I will stick with that. And then we have the third jer jersey, which is yellow, you know, one of those where they, they want to copy some uh, Nike sneakers. I really don't like this one. Uh, there's not, not much there. Four stars. I don't like it. And then the top team, of course, is Bayern Munich, uh, easy winners of this group and one of the favorites for the Champions League. And they are playing still in the jersey that they won the Champions League in. Uh, they pulled it out uh, just uh, before the restart after the Corona break. I honestly have to say, I cannot say many bad things about this jersey. In fact, I can only say good things. This has the classic Bayern look. The only thing is it's not very adventurous. It's very safe, but there are so many subtle th uh, subtleties in there, like the subtle um, shadow striping pattern, which is made by little pin dots that uh, are gifted the white in there. It's very classic Bayern. 
Um, I have to give them a lot of credit by just keeping it simple, keeping it a uh, classic. Uh, I know it's maybe the not most the most not it's not the most exciting jersey out there, but it looks damn fine on the field, and I think it fully deserves its eight star rating. Which the away jersey, which has a similar problem as the Salzburg jersey that on the back there's this gray patch going in there, giving kind of a different look on the back than on the on the front. I really don't like this one. It's it's boring as hell. Yes. It is simple, it has two gray tones and it has orange, red. Give me some red and I give you more. But I, I think that there's all, also even a white tone in there. I hate it on the other jersey in the Bundesliga jersey review, so I'm not gonna do it here, but I really don't like this one. Three stars. However, we finish with probably the best jerseys of the bunch and this made the top 10 of my um, jerseys for 2020. This third jersey, this is a really, really cool looking jersey. It takes inspiration, of course, from the Bayern uh, Bavarian uh, flag, uh, or, or also the Bayern crest with the lozenge pattern, but puts it in the club's colors. because they will never use blue and white because that's uh, 60 Munich. Um, I really like it. There is, it's Bavarian, it is bold, and it's Bayern. And usually they used to have those in Europe uh, with black and a little bit red. Nine stars. I I think it could be cracking the ten. I'm just not so super sold on the monochromatic crest there. That's probably my only bone of contention here. Uh, but other than that, this is a really really nice jersey, and I'll give it nine stars. And with that, we're done with the first part of the Champions League jersey review. Please let me know in the comments below what you thought about this jersey, whether you agree or disagree with me. Give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed this video, subscribe to my channel if you want to see other videos, unless you have already done so, and I will talk to you soon. Bye! Hey there, I really hope you enjoyed this video, and if you did, here are some videos and playlists that you might enjoy too. Also, please consider subscribing to my channel and clicking the little bell icon so that you get, I get updated whenever something is happening in my soccer universe. And with that, have a wonderful day. Bye!